What's happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Total Blast, where we discuss about everything Marvel in the MCU. There is no doubt that a sizable array of characters may be found in Black Panther Wakanda Forever and Riri Williams, portrayed by Dominic Throne, is one of the fresh faces that is on the list that the public has not yet encountered. She won't just be a newcomer to the scene, she'll have to pick up the habit Robert Downey Jr. left in Avengers Endgame, which was creating high-tech super suits. Fans have already seen two suits that she'll be wearing in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and the set photos from her Ironheart series displays a third. Even though Iron Man and Ironheart seem not to have met before in live-action film, her suit is strikingly similar to those worn by Iron Man. Tony Stark is no longer alive in the MCU, and he has saved the entire multiverse from Thanos in Endgame. Ironheart and Iron Man feel less connected than they should have, given that Riri Williams and Tony Stark had direct connection and exchange in the comics. So, how precisely will the lasting memory of Robert Downey Jr.'s legendary hero affect the budding inventor? Obviously going to do a breakdown on all of this and what is to be expected of her, as well as explore Tinochoretta's Namor in Black Panther Wakanda forever. But before we go into details, guys, we'll be giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel, more on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, Please, subscribe and enable the post notification so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. There is no doubt by now that we've all seen the trailer of the much-anticipated Black Panther Wakanda Forever film, especially a recent one that compared to the earlier, more sentimental trailer presents a more action-packed view of the film. This trailer gives us a glimpse of Dominic Strong Ironheart's suit as Dominic Trone, who plays Riri Williams, makes her MCU debut in the film before moving on to our own Disney Plus series. The suit, which appears to be a touch heavier than Iron Man's most well-known attire, is seen during a car chase, taking up the ground, perhaps, to reach a higher altitude. So, my curiosity is with Tony Stark, already dead in the MCU. How is he linked to Riri Williams' Iron Heart, and what will Iron Heart's role be in the MCU? If we go by the comics, during the second superhero civil war, which renders Stark unconscious. Riri aids Stark in his fight against Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel. Using a suit that has been rebuilt as Ironheart, Monica proposed by the AI version of Tony Stark and Riri assumes Iron Man's mantle in his place. Because of the deaths of Natalie and his stepfather, as well as the better armor that she created for herself ever since. Oh, literally and figuratively, Natalie is a version of Tony Stark. So now that we know that Iron Man serves as an inspiration for Ironheart in the comics, and Tony Stark eventually supports Riri's decision to become a superhero. Significance of this connection to Iron Man for Ironheart's MCU function is significant. So, because of a connection to Stark in the comics, and the fact that Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man serves as the centerpiece of the MCU's Infinity Saga, it appears likely that Ironheart will carry on Iron Man's legacy throughout the MCU's upcoming installments. Even though this seems like a great idea, Tron's Iron Heart may find it difficult to fill in such a large shoe, but doing so might allow the franchise to explore new narrative acts. For example, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier looked like how Sam Wilson, played by Anthony McKee, a black superhero, was affected by taking on Captain America's mantle. How Riri Williams and Iron Man communicate and have direct relationship in the comics. The MCU's absence of Stark makes the two characters seem less connected than they ought to be. So, how exactly would the future inventor be impacted by the legacy of Robert Downey Jr.'s legendary hero. Producer Nat Moore of Black Panther Wakanda Forever discussed Dominic Trump's character Riri Williams' relationship to Tony Stark in an interview with Brandon Davies of Phase Zero. Moore said, It's really exciting and he added that Ironheart probably steps less in Tony Stark's footsteps. While speaking about filming scenes and situations that evoked Iron Man's tenure in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Riri Williams' suit in Wakanda Forever the producer revealed that their inspiration for this design came from the imagination that he might be like if someone was actually trying to make an Iron Man suit without Tony Stark's resources. More than likens Riri Williams' Ironheart suit to a muscle car as a suit, one that is big and chunkier than Tony Stark's suit. Even the trail of the suits are more gas-powered, like you get the feeling that it's like a muscle car rather than a suit, which we thought was very interesting and also contrasts really well with Dominic Trone's size, because he's such a small person, but such a powerful personality. But given that the suit is kind of big and chunkier than Tony Stark's suit, because that is exactly how she would have built it. Here is Riri Williams' Ironheart reaction to Iron Man's legacy. Some people might be disappointed by the lack of overt reference to Tony Stark, but given that he's dead, 
Marvel wasn't really left with much of a choice. Panta Wakanda Forever, Aurora seemed to do the character justice while also making an effort to acknowledge Stark's inventiveness, which undoubtedly serves as inspiration for Dominic Trone's protagonist. But will Ironheart ever contact Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark directly? Even though he may be deceased, the Avenger does build an AI version of himself in the comics, which ends up in Riri's suit. It certainly seems like a simple enough storyline development to build upon, one that will support the two characters' connection without detracting from the significance of Iron Man's demise. Riri Williams won't be the only person Tony Stark's legacy affects in the MCU future. It appears that the rest of the world won't quickly forget about the late Avenger based on the plot of the upcoming film Armor Wars, which involves Stark tech falling into the wrong hands. Hopefully, Riri Williams' Ironheart Disney Plus series can find more ways to connect the character to Iron Man's period in the MCU. While Armor War does not yet have a release date, Ironheart is scheduled to premiere on Disney Plus in the fall of 2023. And still on Black Panther, We've seen all the reactions to Black Panther Wakanda forever, and it appears to be a huge success. Long-awaited sequel, directed by Ryan Cogler, has received almost universal acclaim since its world premiere. The masterful score and beautiful characteristics plot are both praised by critics for the movie. However, Tenochtitlan's MCU debut as Namor the Submariner has been mentioned in almost all of the early reviews, with the introduction of the long-running comic book character to the big screen in Black Panther 2. The MCU on the sea universe is now potentially open to new adventures. Even though it's unclear where Hureta's aquatic heroes will show up again after Wakanda Forever, there's always a chance it may be in a film with the same name. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige discussed the prospect of a Nemo solo film after his presence in Wakanda prequel in an interview with Nemo Cosplay at Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Even when asked if Wakanda Forever will be followed by a standalone feature starring Tenochtitlan's protagonist, Feige simply replied, We'll see. Depends on this, which I take meant the success of the Black Panther film. A Nemo movie was previously discussed, so this is not new. When asked about total films if fans would love to see more of the hero, the Submariner actor Hureta said, I hope so. I hope so. He praised the fantastic sources of stories and mythology that comes with the character and expressed his hopes that they decide to keep going with Namor. Additionally, given how much this character appears to mean to Marvel Studios, it stands to reason that they would want to continue featuring him. The character was a subject of a commissioned script for Marvel, according to Feige, who previously stated that the timing was never right and the idea was never right. He even discussed that Ryan Cogler pitched a conflict between kingdoms that was scrapped from the original Black Panther that was almost the inspiration for Nemo or something similar to the character. So, this leaves us with the question of where Nemo will appear again. Following the acclaimed success of Wakanda Forever, as it was these cryptic statements from Kevin Feige and Tina Shureta, it only seems as it's a matter of time before Nemo appears again in the MCU. There are currently a few gaps on the Marvel Studios calendar, which means that a name of solo picture may fit into any one of them. If any reactions to the hero's debut are anything to be believed, Namor in the MCU is a smash. Therefore, wouldn't a solo film announcement be in the works? Marvel Studios wouldn't launch a new hero without having a plan to use them in the future, especially one with so much lore and unique underwater environment. That would be similar to MCU's Guardian of the Galaxy introducing viewers to the cosmic world without ever expanding on it. Nemo isn't a new character for the MCU. He also represents what may be an entirely new MCU vertical for Feige and for the company to explore. Black Panther Wakanda Forever will hit theaters on the 11th of November of 2022, which features Tina Shireta's Nemo. And back to our giveaway. We'll be giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel once we hit a milestone of a thousand subscribers. And all you have to do to win is watch our videos, subscribe, turn on post notification, like, and comment. And one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new PlayStation 5. Also, we want to say thank you to everyone who has supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. Guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Do you think that we'll get to see Tony Stark inspire Riri Williams in Black Panther Wakanda forever? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notification so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. 
Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.